if you add them up, colors, textures, um, synthetics, naturals, there have to be well over 100, I mean, I'm making this up, 150 types of dubbing. Why would you want it? Well, because you want to do it. It's fun. And you can get colors that you can't quite get, which you know will either A, the trout will eat them better, or the steelhead, or B, your flies will have a signature. They'll be different than your buddies. So how do you do this? Well, if you really want to be simple, you do it by hand. You take about two or three kinds of dubbing. Got a little sandwich there, and then you just pull them apart. And if sometimes you can get this done in three or four pull aparts. Sometimes it takes longer. And you know, so this is this is the idea. This is how you do it. Uh, but really nice way to little cheap coffee grinder. So the first thing I'm going to show you is a McKenzie Caddis type dubbing. I start with the McKenzie Caddis Green. This is Hairtron. Uh, a gray Hairtron uh, Caddis Green. I'm going to take those. And I'd actually rather have uh, a little bit darker gray there, but you know, we're at the Caddis Fly and you know, Chris has got 150 dubbings and he doesn't have quite the right one. So. What I'm going to do, and this is what you can do at home, I want a little bit of ice dub in there. I'm going to add a little bit of STS Trilobal Black because that will darken the cast. The cast, the shade. One thing you don't want to do is get too much fur in this blender because it will wad up. And if you use Angora Goat, you need to trim the fibers because if the fibers are too long, they'll wrap around the post. But here's, here's the color you get. And you see it's, it's different than any of these. Now, I really want a color that's closer to this. This is a little bit too dark. This is a little bit too light. So I'm going to throw in a little bit more black STS and a little bit more of this green hair tron. And let's see how it comes. The point is you can you can be creative and you can achieve and when you're out there looking at the bugs you can say oh my flies aren't quite that color. There you go. That's sparkle. And it instead of being a single hued bug, it's got multi fibers. So let me move on quickly this is going to be for a, uh, I'll call it a Deschutes green rock worm. Uh, again, I'd, I'd really like to have, for my flies, I'd like to have something that's a little bit closer to a Kelly green in here. I have to talk about Chris about the way he stocks the shot. It's in the catalog, but. So there you go. You, you have a color. Now, no, that's not really uh, quite green enough for me, but that's the idea, okay? So now, move on here. Uh, I, I love to tie egg-sucking leeches, and these STS Trimobile dubbing colors, this is a tremendous material, but not being satisfied. Chris is laughing at me. I like to take, and one of the reasons I like this, I'll throw some chartreuse in with it, for goodness sakes. It really, it gives you a different color, and when you, when you look at this color through the light, look at the color through the light, what the heck does that mean? Look at the head, um, you get this uh, palette. You see, that's that's different. Now I can buy that. Than now I any like that. of any like of that. these constituent colors. That's nice. And this is that's an awesome. I call it uh, the ultimate egghead. And all my blends we call Zally Dub. This is uh, Ice Dub, but it's there's, there's several solid colors, and it blends differently. It's very different material than the the standard Ice Dubs. 
the gold, the silver, the copper, oh my gosh, these are amazing. But they are different than the typical ice blend. They're longer fibers. If you blend these just as they are, they'll wrap and they'll ball up. So you cut them. You cut them into shorter pieces. Uh, like you would if it was if it was Angora goat and you throw in some STS Trilobal black and you're gonna be stunned when you see how this comes out look at that and in this consistency it's extremely easy to dub uh, one of the nice things when you are dubbing is you know, if, if you have a wad of dubbing all put together, you have to tease it out. It's nice to have one of these handy when you're doing your dubbing. Just fluff it up a little bit, and so you can just grab a piece like that, put it in your, in your dubbing loop, and you are ready to rock and roll.